This will be very un Star Trek fan of me. I hate hardcore Phantom Mud. Hello and welcome back with another Star Trek the Animated Series episode review. Today's episode is Mud Passion. So in this episode, uh, we met one of our old friends from the original series, Hardcore Phantom Mud. So we know uh, Mud itself from the episode uh, I Mud or Mud's Woman. I wasn't really happy, I wasn't really the fan of those episodes, um, not because of the acting of the other Star Trek actors, but then, I don't know, Hardcore Phantom Mud is just a really annoying character for me. I was a bit worried when I saw the episode list, and I know there's gonna be an episode about Mud again uh, in the animated series, so I wasn't really looking forward to it, but then, you know, there are sometimes episodes when you just have to watch and have to get over it. This was one of them. So basically in the, in the previous episode, in the original series, they left him on a planet with lots of androids and he got a lot of like 500 of his wife uh, annoying him all the time, so I never thought we were going to see him again, but then we did. So he's in the planet Motherhood at the moment, he escaped from the robot planet and now he's selling love potions for the, for the people of Motherhood. Obviously the Enterprise arrives and they find Mud uh, selling these love potions and, and tricking all the people. So they ended up um, revealing him as a, as a fraud. Obviously the people got angry, so uh, they beamed up the ship. So they throw him under the brig, while um, Kirk wants Christian Chapel, Nurse Chapel, to now make an examination on him. Uh, Mud tricks Chapel, Nurse Chapel, to get his love potions. As long as Nurse Chapel has emotional attachment to Mrs. Puck, he offers his love potion tablets to to Nurse Chapel, and then she can use it in, in Spock. Nurse Chapel didn't really have a big role in the original series, but I never thought she could be bribed with love potion tablets. It was very tricky from Mud, but ugh, God, I hate that guy. Nurse Chapel tries this love potion, but obviously she fainted and Mud was out of the cell. He took her phaser and her ID card as well. So later on he fake the ID card is with his picture and he get access to the ship and he wanted to walk away. Now Vision Nurse Chapel went to Mrs. Spock to see him and see if the potion works or not. But then obviously uh, it for a walk and it took a bit longer than a normal human being. So it was on the bridge when Spock actually realized it. Um, so, oh my nurse chapel, my nurse chapel, I love this woman. Whoa, <laughs> coming from Mr. Spock, this sort of emotional uh, reaction was quite interesting to see. Mud wanted to escape from the Enterprise, and while he was there, uh, Nurse Chapel interrupted him, and he got all of his love potion tablets thrown into the floor, and that basically uh, went into the um, Enterprise, so it poisoned almost everyone, and everyone started to be act strangely, like, uh, oh, everyone loved each other, and everyone loved everyone, and then... Uh, Rx was playing in you know, a sort of guitar in, in the bridge and Rx was attracted to Scotty and, and even Dr. McCoy was actually um, fooling around with one girl. Oh, it's like the naked now all over again. <laughs> so yeah, they, they actually uh, go to this planet uh, nearby. It's a rock mud, wanted to leave chapel in this planet, but then um, obviously the Enterprise arrives and the emotionally he just Spock want to save chapel from mud. When they beam down to the surface, um, they find this two giant rock creature, uh, which actually reminded me of the uh, Gorignac from, from Galaxy Quest, you know, the rock creature that just assembles together and... <laughs> so they find these two rock creatures in the planet and I wouldn't mind actually if they, you know, smash uh, <laughs> Hardcore Phantom Mud, but it's just still a kid show and, you know, God, I, I, just, I, just, I just hate that guy. So Kirk was trying to contact the Enterprise just to beam back because you know, they were in danger, obviously, but then everyone in the Enterprise was just in love, they didn't really uh, do their job, and it was several attempts to call the Enterprise and no one was in the um, transporter room, or in fact, there was one couple was dancing in a transporter room. Yeah, there's nothing else to do in there, in the damn ship, eh? Hey? So finally they, they reach Marex in the bridge, and um, while they've been trying to escape from these rock creatures, um, Mud still had like two uh, love potion tablets down and Kirk had this brilliant idea to actually throw the love potion tablets into the uh, uh, mouth of the uh, rock creature and obviously they started to feel affection towards um, 
perk. Yes. So the two rock creatures started to actually fight against each other over Kirk. It was <laughs> hilarious. Um, obviously they started to run away because the fight was involving them as well. So And when they finally reached uh, Merax in the bridge, um, she beams aboard everyone and they throw Hardcore and Phantom Wild back to the back to the brig. So the effects of the low potion tablets are, are gone and at the end everyone gets back to normal and everyone started to hate each other a bit more than they did it before. I assume because they had this emotional um, state that they've been in and you know it just messed up with everyone. So yeah that was a very interesting episode. Um, so for me having uh, mud in the episode already rated down the episode which is a shame. Um, and I liked, I really liked the beginning, the bad boy, good boy, the good cop, bad cop uh, uh, sort of style what Spock and Kirk um, used to save Mud. Who cares about Endom Mud? Come on, he was such an annoying character in the original series, and now he's annoying everyone in the animated series as well. <laughs> okay, for as a ratings for this episode, I will have to go with two out of five. Uh, Mud was an unnecessary uh, backcomer for me. I didn't like him at all. I don't like him at all. Now, he was such an annoying character, and uh, I don't know. Just the episode was a bit weird. Uh, it wasn't as weird as the Magics of Megas 2. This one just a follow up of Mud. Uh, God, why Mud? Why Mud? And just a side note, uh, actually, I'm kind of thinking um, on Discovery as well because. I still have this idea about the new alien, what Dugnion will play. Um, have a feeling, I have a slight feeling it will be Rx. It would be nice to see Rx in the in Discovery, in Star Trek Discovery. That race, the Edosians, um, they never been featured in any uh, show apart from the animated series, which I believe it counts as a canon. It has their own flows, but it ha I, I, I believe it counts as a canon, so I would love to see actually Rx become alive in Star Trek Discovery. So yeah, that was it for today, guys. That was my Mud Special uh, review. And it wasn't as passionate as it will be next time, I hopefully at least. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you didn't, as I didn't either, let me know if you have any problem with Mud or if, if you like him, just try to go miss me. Maybe I will like him, but at this point, I don't like that guy. As usual, you can reach me on my website, which I neglected a little bit, but it will pick up. Um, I sort of had to uh, sort out a couple of things, but I'll be back soon with interesting articles. So yeah, that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Live long and prosper. It says age 7 to 14. I hope I will be able to <laughs> live up to this um, age group. So yeah, we have the assembly guide here. I assume this is the volcano part, and we have Mrs. Puck, and some stickers for the shuttle, I guess. So I assume this will take quite a few moments to actually assemble it, 141 pieces.